Hello guys, welcome to Zoll Photography. So today's video is about camera bags and me helping you identify the best camera bag if there's such a thing. So luckily I've got quite a few bags that I use and over the years I've found what works uh, for certain shoots. So off the bat I'll let you know straight away there's not a single bag that you're gonna uh, go to. At the end of the video I'll give you an idea of the one that I've used the most so that will help you. But as you can see, depending on the boot or the location that you're going to, you're going to need various setups. Sometimes you might just need a single camera DSLR body with a fixed lens. Uh, other times you might need multiple bodies, multiple lenses. So one of the smaller bags that I've got is the Nova um, camera bag, which is the one you're seeing right now. And that basically carries a simple setup with a single camera, action camera if you need it. And it's Nova 140. And my secondary bag is the Billingham Hadley Pro. This seems to be my go-to bag. It looks more like a general uh, bag. There's nothing camerary about it, if that's even a word. Um, but I do find myself reaching for this one more often because you can get just about enough kit in there and it's very comfortable. You can wear it and look fine in a formal or casual environment. And you can see here I've got a flash and camera and I normally have a lens in the side and sometimes a water bottle if I need it and um, so it carries quite just about enough two lenses there flash you can see in the body and um, apart from that if it's getting a bit more heavier then there's a low pro fast pack 250 that I've got I've had this for ages I bought it from Jessup's um, probably four or five years now and that was my first bigger bag I've kept it because on occasion if you want to take the 20 40 70 and a 5d mark 2 it fits comfortably in the side pocket and you can swing it out and pull it out the 20 40 70 also can be stored in the spaces available but i found this bag very comfortable to wear on longer distances so if you're traveling by train or going away then this bag is going to be the one and the billingham is great for lighter shoots um, but you'll you'll feel it on your shoulder if you're carrying loads of heavy gear in there so with this one it's got the back uh, shoulder uh, straps and the waist strap and um, finally here the pelican now this is a beast of a case you can get everything in here two bodies with lenses attached extra lenses cameras flashes and it's got upper section and i find this one more helpful for fashion shows and more commercial shoots because it's got the rollers so you know with fashion events it's mainly in like uh, convention centers and big centers so you can roll around easily when you get to your spot you can use a case to sit on so it's very handy in that sense so basically this has been like an overview of these cases that i've got there's four of them the main one i use i'll be honest it's the low pro 250 and um, with that i can carry a comfortable lens on my back there's space in the upper section to carry additional things like drinks and snacks because when you're out the weather can change or you can get hungry or drink you want to drink or whatever um, and it depends where you are if there's easily accessible shops or not and um, also if i was to pick two i'd pick the billingham and the low pro the low pros are think cheaper now you can get over 50 60 quid the billingham's a bit more expensive so that's not a necessity but because it's more casual it looks better so i'm hoping this helps you give you an overview of the bags i've got and helps you decide which is best for you but I, if you're a serious shooter you will find quickly there's not a single bag that suits you you'll have to adapt to different shoots and take what you need to take and then fit the bag to that if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe so future videos come straight to you mm -hmm.